On this page, we're going to discuss the various types of characters in storytelling. There's the protagonist, of course. That's the main character in a story. And in a first-person story, it's always, I did this and I did that. Third person, he or she did this and he or she did that. And it's very rare, but every once in a while, a very clever writer will write an entire story in second person. You're out there doing this and then this happens to you. It's a very weird way of writing a story and kind of unsettling when you read it. But I think you might encounter one or two of those when you read the short stories that I've presented in the class. The antagonist is usually the person who is the adversary or, or the villain, the person who the main character has conflict with. Although sometimes the environment can be the antagonist. And then of course, there's always the sidekick or this, the character foil, if you will. Uh, in my wife's story, I'm the sidekick. She's the main character. I'm the nut who's uh, driving on the side, you know, giving her directions on when to turn and when not to turn. I'm the character foil. If you see a buddy cop movie, the character foil is always the goofy one who's making all the bad jokes while the main character is doing all the heroic things. So a character foil kind of gives the writer a way to tell more of the story about the main character. That's why that character exists. There's one more type of character I'd like you to consider. There's really many kinds of characters in storytelling. This is just scratching the surface, but I'd like you to consider the anti-hero because this is a very interesting kind of character. In some ways, it's the protagonist. In some ways, it's the antagonist. Uh, an anti-hero is both good and bad evil and innocent. Um, it's a complex character. Antiheroes are always round characters because they're not flat and cardboard thin. Do they change? Are they dynamic characters? Maybe, maybe not. But I think what happens with this kind of sophisticated storytelling is that you get to see that all characters aren't one dimension. That an evil person has a little bit of good and maybe a good person has a little bit of evil. That's interesting and sophisticated storytelling, and I'd like you to look for that.